wonder if I can just hold you there so I don't. There we go. Yeah. Such a child. Such a child. Good morning. It is Tuesday. First cup of tea of the day. Um, today's my day off from work. I normally don't work on Wednesdays, but um, today I am working Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, because today I was supposed to give blood and I'm not. Um, so yes, I was telling you all about D&D. &D. Didn't happen because I basically hit a wall. Um, I think the things just going awry at work kind of hit me a little bit and I just I've hit this wall of exhaustion. So I messaged the girls and I was like, I'm really sorry. Can we do it? Can we swear to later in the week? So we're going to do it on Friday. Um, and then I'm holding you like, um, so, sorry for the like giant arm. Let's see if I can. Yeah, no. You're sat on there. That's better, isn't it? Hello. Right. You're, sa you're sat on the grill pan that's waiting to be put in the dishwasher. I've just tidied the kitchen. Still looks quite messy behind me, but pff, we'll ignore that. I'm sat on Amelia's step. <laughs> I'm having my cup of tea. Anyway, hit a wall of exhaustion yesterday, so literally all I wanted to do was eat. We got fish and chips. Oh. And go to bed, and I did. I sat, crocheted for a little bit, ate. Finished The Witcher season one, finally. And went to bed. Um, didn't have the best night. I mean, it was up like three times last night. Um, which kind of we were prepared for because back to school, excitement of being around other small people and exhaustion because she went to bed early as well. Um, and then it just had a knock on effect in the, in the night time. So Chris was up twice and I was up once. Um, so yes. <sighs> I know it gets better, <laughs> but having an almost five year old that doesn't sleep through the night takes its toll and I know there are other people out there that have the exact same life. Um, you have my sympathies and virtual hugs and virtual fist bumps because yes. I'm wearing a new top. I got a stitch fix through yesterday. I think I mentioned it. Um, they, after my last stitch fix where I, I, I kept everything, um, I, uh, they offered me like you pay a ten pound um consult not consulting like shopper fee um so for the person who stylist fee that's what they call it stylist fee um you pay a ten pound stylist fee for every box that you pay and then you get that back if you buy at least one thing um but because I bought all of it um they offered me a a, a free so no stylist fee box um so I was like yeah whatever, whatever and I kind of said go outside the box a little bit so they sent me some stuff. And this, which is a bat wing, I'm gonna stand up. Oh God, here we go. Excuse the pajamas. It's a bat wing, very lightweight knit top with three quarter length sleeves and quite a low V. And I bloody love it. It's only like 5% wool. It's basically, it's completely man-made, but it is, wait a minute, let me look at the label. It is 43% poly, polyester, 27% acrylic, 25% nylon and 5% wool. But it, it feels so soft, it's lovely. Anyway, it's like, it's like wearing buttered kittens. Although I'm allergic to cats, so probably not. Anyway, no oh my God, tangents. Anyway, so we didn't have a great, great night's sleep, but I woke up this morning with massive back pains around kind of basically my ovaries like literally where I get period pains I'm right in the middle of my cycle and I kind of looked I haven't I, I, I track my cycles on the um, health app on my iPhone and it was for those of you who know the app um, I was right at the end of the blue bit which is the ovulation period and I went oh crap ovulation pains as if I don't have anything else to deal with and sometimes I do get them but th today's was awful um, and I just went, you know, I've got to take some painkillers. I feel like crap. I just can't give blood. I just can't. I, I'm uncomfortable as it is sitting in one of those chairs for, for however long. I know it's only 15 minutes or 10, 15 minutes, but I just, I just want to sit at home and actually have a day off. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I've just tidied the kitchen because I'm about to bake 
I'm about to get my bake on. So I'm finally, after like what, a week and a half, after the uh, chocolate arrived, finally baking the Easter things. So hopefully I can get to the post office tomorrow, tomorrow lunchtime, and get things out to people. Biscuit brew, always good. Although I need to get another box. I should have ordered some in my Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's came yesterday at nine, um, or 9.30 actually. We, we've had our first delivery in ages. Like normally we go and collect, um, do a click and collect at our Sainsbury's in the next town over. Um, and I actually managed to get a delivery slot, a green delivery slot as well, like with the, one of the green lorries, which says that they're already in your area. So yeah, but I need to put biscuit brew on mine. I'm gonna put that on the shopping list. We have a, like a white whiteboard personalized weekly planner, which has got our food, um, our meal planning, which we don't use at the moment because we're not good at it. Um, and then like, the three rows for each of us, so daddy, mummy, mimi, um, for like what's going on in our week, and then um, like a shopping list. So it's like a nice, it's a, it's a good thing because you just remember to put what you need on the shopping list. And then when I come to do the online shop, it's there and I can just add things on top of our usual stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna bake. Um, now I've finished my tea, dishwasher's on. I need to clean the counters. I am going to make caramel egg brownies. These are all, apart from one, so two of the recipes I'm using are from Jane's Patisserie and I will put them in the in the link, in the the um, description box below. I keep saying that to things and then forgetting, so I need to make, I need to go back through my vlogs and just check through what I was saying, I'll, I'll link. Um, maybe, <laughs> or just, if there was something I talked about and I didn't link it, can you please comment? <laughs> because, yeah, um, so yeah, I'm using two Jane's Patisserie um, ones, which are the Easter Easter Rocky Road and the Cream Egg Cookies. Um, and then I am doing a, uh, it's another blog post and I'll put it down below again, um, which is salted caramel egg brownies. So Cadbury's caramel eggs, um, but with salted caramel sauce in them and in brownie form. Um, so yeah, I'm doing those three um, today. I was gonna try and do at least one with Amelia, but I might leave Rocky Road. And if she wants to do it when she gets home, then it's literally a case of just melting, melting things and mixing them. So I think she'd be quite, she'd, and she could play with mini marshmallows. Yeah, I might do that. I might prep it, prep it all and then we can just shove it in a bowl. Um, so yes, yeah, so that'll probably be my, my vlogging today is going to be me time-lapsing. Um, time-lapsing my baking. This is weird that I'm, I'm, not, I'm not in the center of the shot and I don't like it. <laughs> oh dear. It does feel nice to have a day off, a proper day off. And I will go and pick up Amelia at three. So it is currently quarter past 11. You can't see the clock, no. Um, I'm, I've got Sharon, Sharon's podcast, SCR1TNO. I've got her podcast on the iPad, very loud. Um, and then I'll probably go through Paula's March vlogs, the ones that I haven't watched any of them yet. So I think I'm gonna watch Paula's vlogs and then I'm gonna watch Ali's vlogs. Oh, I've also got Helen's latest podcast to, oh, giddy, I say, sorry. I'm going to, I'm currently watching the SCR1 TNO Knitting Project post Podcast. SCR1 TNO Knitting Project Podcast. I'm gonna link these people below. I want to watch the Giddy Knits, Helen from Giddy Yarns podcast because she uh, put that out this weekend. Um, and I then want to catch up with Paula who is stitched by Mrs. D, her March vlogs. She's calling them Paul, Mar Paula's Rubbish March Vlogs or something like that. I love Paula. Um, and then I want to watch the This Little Wonderful Life, Ali from Starry as Ali on Instagram, her March vlogs, March vlogs as well. I think that's it of the ones I definitely want to watch. There's a couple of podcasts that have come up. Oh, Laura from The Lonely Knit has just put another podcast up as well. Oh, I haven't watched her previous one, so I need to catch up on, oh God. Okay, let's do podcasts first. Finish Sharon, watch Helen, watch Laura, March vlogs. Yes. And I've been talking for 10 minutes. Yeah. 
and my hair looks amazing in a ponytail. I'm ne I'm, I don't think I'm ever gonna tire of this pink. And as it fades, it's just gonna get more fun. Or as fun, but different. Such a child. We've had one burst, but, and, and these are not, this bit is definitely not cooked. So I think if I'm gonna be sending to people, it's gonna be the outside <laughs> and these three are not going to be sent at all. And then the latest ones just come out. I'm not touching these at all because they're gonna be molten. Um, and then the last batch is currently in the oven. And now I'm just gonna prep Look at this, look at the carnage behind me. I'm gonna prep for Rocky Road, get it ready. And it's now one o'clock and I'm gonna sit. I need to sort the washing out. I'm gonna get the laundry into the dryer. I feel bad that it's not going outside, but we took, we took down our, our washing line when we put Amelia's swing set in and we haven't put it back up again. So we haven't found another place for it. So I, everything's going in the dryer until we actually sort out a washing line. Right, Rocky Road is prepped. <laughs> Look at all that chocolate. I probably could do with a few more mini eggs compared to the like dime Oreo mini cream eggs, but that's the chocolate ready to be melted with the golden syrup and the butter that's hiding behind it. And then marshmallows and biscuits, which I've pre-bashed um to go in and then the white chocolate goes on top with the bunnies and a few mini eggs and then that's prepped so it's ready it's ready so yes i'm watching helen mm -hmm. so this is what the uh the burst one looks like Mm. We have one which is slightly burst, but that's the chocolate pan. How are we doing with this? Well, it's, 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 it's almost there. I'm slightly concerned I've cremated the sides, but I'm still going to send it around to people. Because even if I don't... Yeah. Yeah. Look who I found! Did you have a good day at school? Did you get pen on your forehead? <laughs> Did we just take a selfie and send it to daddy? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you get to do a smile? <laughs> 
って<笑> no. Look how pink mommy's hair is in the sunshine. Such a child. Right. We just had to pull over because someone threw her food on the on the floor, didn't you? Yeah. When I was doing it, when the car was throwing it. The car threw it, did it? Yeah. Okay. All right. The car threw it. When the trees are cut out, when they're chopped into small pieces. Shall we show everyone? Wait a minute. Oh. We're currently on a road. This this used to, this whole field used to be trees, and they have chopped everything down. Not sure why. Really would be nice if it wasn't a, a, a new estate, but probably because that's what happens when you clear fields around here. New houses spring up. Right, home! <laughs> But baby butterflies don't live for a very long time. But I was a butterfly. They're very pretty, aren't they? Yeah, they got pretty wings. Okay. But I see a white one. Oh, okay. White ones that when you bring that. Okay. Right. It's time to close your eyes now, darling. Thank you so much for telling me about butterflies. I don't think I thought this through. I'm about to decapitate some bunnies. <laughs> This is this is a typical evening in the in the Herden household. Oh, I've just got I've just sold another pattern. 
not sure typical is, is, is accurate. New typical, so this is a thousand piece jigsaw puzzle that we are doing. Hey! Your, hey, your... scoreboard's mine! Hands off! You told me to get on with it, so I'm getting on with it. It's not my fault you're taking too bloody long to do your... Um, I am I am sewing in ends of sewing my rainbow ends. socks. These are the ends so far. I have wine. It's helping. I have done one. How about what we had for dinner? It was awesome. Oh, we had the most amazing steak that this one cooked. It was fabulous. And he did gravy. Yep. Anyway. We're going to sign off because... Okay. Thousand piece jigsaw. If she doesn't sign off, I'll have done all the scoreboard and she's going to And I'm going to get really annoyed. So, good night. See you tomorrow. Say, say good night, Herden. Au revoir. Good morning. I do have hair. <laughs> it's just scraped back. Oh, good luck. It's um Thursday, the 10th of March. I am currently eating. Oh, angle down. <laughs> Some of the rocky road we made yesterday. I did end up have, being able to cut through. It just took a while. Um, I think it needed to be out the fridge for about 10 minutes and then it was fine. Um, but yes, lots and lots of decapitated bunnies. Did not think that through. And a biscuit brew. Um, it's 11.30 at the moment and I'm well into my workday. I'm generally feeling like I'm slightly drowning because there's a lot on. So I just need to get rid of some of the smaller things from my inbox um so that i can then concentrate on the bigger things because it's all getting a little bit silly um and i don't want to have another day where i feel like i have to log back in again instead of going to sip and stitch or whatever um mm, i love a mini marshmallow there is i'm gonna show you wait a minute a mountain a literal mountain of boxes next to my um next to my next to my desk um because i have packaged up all of the, the parcels so i've got mother's day present going to my mum socks going to rose i've got some yarn that's going to maddie hopefully maddie when you watch the, oh wow why are you not focusing on me yeah so rose's sock that's just dealing with the exposure uh rose's socks um mum's mother's day present and then the rest are, oh, some yarn for Maddie because I'm sending her something. Maddie, you'll have seen this, I hopefully, by the time you'll have received the parcel. Um, and then the rest, I think, is just treats. Yeah, the biggest box is for Jack and Carl. Because there's two of them. <laughs> and then there's a box with Chris and his family. There's less for them because I'm not putting in the car the failed caramel brownies. Jack is willing to be a guinea pig for the failed caramel brownies, so I've told him put them in the microwave just just for a little bit, just to like firm it up a little bit. Um, who else am I sending treats to? Oh, my dad. My dad, I'm sending treats to as well. So yes, I'm now like second guessing. Oh, should I send to these people as well because they'll talk? Oh. Send to the people who have been instrumental in keeping me on the straight and narrow for the last couple of weeks, <laughs> basically. Um, and that's those people. And obviously presents as well. Um, yes. Chris is on a meeting. Chris has basically blessed him being in meetings all day. I think he's just done with this week. It's been quite a hard week for him. Um, I don't know. I've... I can't decide. Is it a new moon or is it a full moon? I think it's a new moon because new moons affect me, I think, and my creativity. Let's have a look at my diary, shall we? This week, new moon. Yeah. New moon. New moons do not do well with me, so that's not entirely surprising that I feel ridiculous, so... I haven't started using this yet, but I have obviously put my moons in there. So I'm still, I'm still chugging away through my pink um, bullet journal because I'm not, I'm not using up the pages for some reason. Um, yeah, anyway, I was just thought I'd check in and say, hi, I'm here. It's a work day. You'll probably see me after I go and pick up a media from school. Some of her die cuts.
It's really late and I haven't talked to you. <sighs> Just come off slip and stitch. It's midnight. Lots to talk about. Um, I'm doing lots of things. I've caught up with my temperature blanket, so that's good. I'm up to date on my stripe a day. I've done a bit of um, oh, test crocheting, both on the super secret pattern and also on my cardigan. I have, I think, three more cable repeats to do before sleeve separation, so I'm not far off. I've washed my hair after going for my run. It is, I think, already fade. Or, although, that might just be the light, but it's still pretty big. Um, I'm just going to leave everything down here because D&D tomorrow, so... Um, you have a meeting tomorrow, which I could do with having some easy things to work on. So I might, oh, I'm tired. I might take out my sock for that. Or my, I'll take my cardigan. I'll take my cardigan because I'm now on just done a cable row so I'm now on three plain but increased rows so yes anyway I'm gonna sign off and I'll see you tomorrow Good night.